So that projecting what you want or your sense of self-worth or projecting your, your values or projecting how beautiful you are, or what nice things you like, you can see the other side of it is these sides are used to going for what they want. If they don't get what they want, they're still going to project their reaction. They'll be angry or projecting their discontent. Everyone will notice it. So that's, um, again, these aren't word definitions or associations. They're just little lenses that you can be, oh, I can see that. And then you'll see your own insights that expand this from what I'm able to say in a class. I'm not working one-on-one, -on -one, this becomes very alive. Working in class, I'm having to do this to pretend to keep it alive for, for you. And you're having to see how it works for you. And is that so, it's going to hit some nerves, you have to think about it. Well, it's not exactly like this, it's more like this, but you'll still see how that projection works. And what happens when you don't project? So if you're feeling confident and you project, wow, that's good for everyone. If you're not feeling confident and you project, you're not happy. Everyone's going to notice it too. Okay. When you get to the feminine signs, they don't project, they reflect, they measure, they gauge. They're not going to project out, this is how good I've had. They're going to want to collect, this makes it better, I want this, I have this, I like this, this is more secure. They're measuring, you're with me. They're taking in and evaluating how they're receiving appreciation, how they're being appreciated. What's good, what's not good. They're not projecting, oh, i got to have it. They know they have to have it. They're projecting on how good what they have is. So you make love to someone, and you sure you satisfied them. You sure it's going great. And then you ask them, well, was that good for you? And the, the, the Venus scenarios will, the Venus scenario and the masculine and science will project out and they'll tell you, most likely. But the Venus and the feminine signs, if they're discontent, they know no good's going to tell by telling somebody that you weren't as good as my last boyfriend. You know, like, <laughs> I'm not content, that wasn't very good. They're not going to be quick to say it. They'll get quiet, they'll go into their emotions inwardly and get, and into their discontent, they'll brood on it a little bit more. And then you'll notice they're not being there as much. They're not giving you back as much energy. You'll notice it by them not sh showing out their values and not showing their happiness. So it's a simple little factor, but very profound psychologically or spiritually in how you're... Whoops, sorry. That's my cell phone. I just have to turn it off. There. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so this puzzle, this texture, projection and reflection of what you want, you meet someone you want, you're going to let them know if you've got the projecting penis. If you have Venus in the reflective signs, you might want someone, but you may, you may not want to project it. You may want to see if they're actually going to project to you before you project it out. You can be measuring it in, evaluating inwardly. So there's a, an outer projective evaluation or wanting or going for what you want. There's an inner measurement of what one wants. Both the same Venus, but one's projecting, one's reflecting. It's probably, it's hard to say which ones would be the higher maintenance, but probably the reflective Venuses would be the higher maintenance. Because they pull away and you're wondering, where are you? What happened? What do you want? What's gone? It's changed. So then we have the seasons, which we talked about. I'm just going to go past these. I mean, you could even take Venus to the colors of the signs and see that those colors reinforce you. If you if Venus is a sign and you don't like the color of that that color of that sign, it's telling you a lot about how much you like your Venus. So, it's it's interesting. It just that's a whole other. I'm not going into, it, but that's why I keep the colors in here because they have other levels of influence. If you're drawing or designing, like colors are a funny thing. You can wear, you can have like certain colors around you, but you would never wear that color. But you could wear certain colors, but you wouldn't have it around you. Or you could wear very cautious colors, but have very wild underwear, wildly colored underwear, and no one would know, but you're still wearing the colors. You know, so there's different styles of colors, how colors come in. 
and the colors affect different attitudes. Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Then you get the, the green and the blues and Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Am I blue? Don't ask me if I'm blue. I'm missing you. You know, I must be blue. There's the, the darker winter colors reflecting. Okay, so then. Okay, sorry. When it gets to the cardinal signs, I mean, you can see what it implies, and then you take and you watch someone, and you watch what they like, what satisfies them, the choices they make, how sweet, how happy, how pleasant they are, or how angry or uptight someone is. You know the ads when for Viagra or something, someone's dancing down the street, they, they took the pill and they made love, and they're happy. They're dancing down the street. Of course, then you see the other side of it is when someone's walking down the street or it's unhappy or grumpy, you know they haven't been making love. Or if they were, they weren't being satisfied. This is advertising stuff, but this is still all part of Venus. So if you see someone being happy, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're the one that's going to satisfy them to change that. But you're seeing what could make it happy. A little charm, a little pleasantness can do a huge thing. You know, to improve someone, make them feel they're valuable. This happens with kids all the time. Like, we run into this as kids. We evolve into certain patterns. We get out of all the good and the bad of a family, the likes and the dislikes. And then we try and go out and establish relationships with people from another family, with another set of agendas. And we have baggage. But when it's in a cardinal sign, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, these are people who are, these are the driving signs. If you want something, you have to push for it. I got to drive for it. I'm going to be ambitious, but I'm going to make it happen. So that driving, generating willpower to get what you want, that's Aries, I want something, I'm going for it. So Aries is fast, quick, pushing for it. They want something immediately, they want to go for it. And they want to do things right away. In Cancer, if they want something and they feel it's secure, they're going to, if they need it for their security, they're going to have to have it. They're not going to push. They will push, but they'll get it, but not push the same. They get their sensitivity. They'll get it, but in a different style of sensitivity than Aries. But if you're living with someone with Venus and Cancer and you're trying to stop them from going shopping, it's not going to happen. They'll be really unhappy by not getting with it, and they'll push their moods to get what they want. So... When it goes to Libra, it's wanting to share, wanting to be in a relationship. I want to do this for you. Let's go do this. I think we've been with someone that wants, oh, let's go together. Let's go everywhere. I want to be with you doing everything. It's almost too much. I just, I want some time alone. I don't want to just do everything. But no, let's share. Let's go here. What are you doing? Where are you going? What are we doing this after? Oh, it's supper time. We're going to go. We're going to go. What are you going to do in the staff? What are we, like the, the one thing you're pushing for it, whether you're pushing a partner home, do the same things you want to do. That can get into a rut if it's negative. But generally, it's let's be aligned, let's be harmonious, let's share, let's do things, and that's a certain style. But they're pushing for a relationship. They're smiling, let's get married, let's, like, we put me this together, pushing for security, a home, or a kid. Aries, I'm pushing for just energy, do you have freedom to do things? Libra, it's I'm pushing for, I'm not, I, it doesn't seem like I'm pushing, I'm just being nice, but someone's being nice to you, they're still pushing what they want. And so, Venus will often, in Libra, well, appreciate the partner but want to be appreciated for their ideas and sharing with the partner too. So if the partner is not listening, that would be a huge rage. When Venus doesn't go to wants, a rage comes up, a storm comes up of discontent, anger, rage, hate. Whoa. So the negative side is uh, Venus is very dark. The positive side is incredibly beautiful. So Venus in Capricorn, even though it's structured and cautious, it's a wintry, reserve sign they're still ambitious they want to have money they want to have their security they want to be well off enough to get the things they want and get the nice things but they're not going to be they're not they're reflected the cancer and the capricorn they won't show it they'll just do it the aries and the libra will push to get it they're projective they'll show it but all of these four will push to get what they want their venus is going to be demanding things of their life and going to be pushing to control the mind and the emotion and the feelings. And if you're going to marry someone or be with someone that has Venus and a cardinal sign, you know they're going to push for what they want, probably more than you'll push for what you want. So you may adapt, they get what they want. Okay, then I'll get mine after. Like, 
the pecking order plays out. When we get to the fixed signs, it's weird. this. Is, I mean, these are hugely different qualities. The cardinal pushing to get one. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Whoa! Get out of my way. You're in my way. You're like it's driving to do things. If you're discontent in relationships, you're driving to either make it happen or push it away. Get another one. The fixed signs Venus is different. They want to maintain what they have. They want to accumulate things. They want to keep what they have. They don't want to change it. They want to add to it, but they don't want to change things. So they get very fixed in their desires. I guess you call Venus as your emotions, your wants, your desires, what you, what you desire, how are you going to be satisfied? Well, it's this way. These are the signs that are consistent in how they want to be satisfied. It doesn't change. They're not explorative. Well, let's do this. No, I want to have this. I got to have this. This is what I need. This is how I have to be. If you want to be with me, it's got to be like this. I have these things. So they're very fixed in what they like, what they want, what they taste, what they dress, what they choose. And they choose the familiar and the things they like all the time. And well, maybe not all the time, but the majority of the time. And rarely will, it's predictable. Well, each are predictable in their own way, but when you don't get what you want, they tend to be fixed in it and they don't have the ability to change to something else. They tend to fixate on what they haven't had or what they didn't get. So I'm not getting what I want. How come? And they tend to be fixed in it. How do I get it? You know, like it's, it's hard to let go. If it becomes a negative discontent, they can get fixed in the discontent also. But they're usually very established and tenacious in maintaining what they like. The Taurus will wear the clothes they like. They won't wear what they never buy Taurus. Someone of Venus and Taurus, or it's the Taurus, never buy them clothes. They got too much taste for themselves. So how expensive is someone? You know, how, how much do it take? So the, the, Taurus, the Venus and Taurus, it's going to want its personal things. It's earthy. It's practical. I want my discomfort. In Leo, I want glory. Don't take it away. I want to, you take me out, I've got to be the glory one, you got to be, i got to be the princess or the prince and you're coming along with me. And you got to play with that. Or my kids have got to be the best in the world, have everything. Scorpio, my obsessions and my desires, I'm so close, we're intense, we got to be together, we got to do this, and we're in, we're here, don't leave me now, we're in till death do us part. It has that fixity. And the negative, how could they have done that to me? How could they have left me? How could, that has the negative storm of of the fixations affecting the emotional choices one makes. They're not going to want to play two or three people against each other to get what they want. No, they want. It's a lot more consistent. And in Aquarius, they want to be appreciated for their ideas. They want people to listen to them. They want to be listened to. And if they get in a relationship with a person who's just there physically and not talking to them, that would be a horrible thing. But they still get fixated and they don't want it to change. They want, they need to have certain things and you either give it to them or you don't. And their way of making decisions are very deliberate and consistent. The way of making choices is very deliberate, that consistent. It's not pushy like Aries, but it's consistent. It's definitely, no, I don't like that. No, I don't want that. Don't ask me to do something I like. Get me to do things I like. Yeah, it has to be like this. So, like this fixity is there. This quality comes in. So by merging, we're taking the attitude of the fixation, of the fixed fixity, the determination of the fixed sign and seeing that's how I make the choices of what I want. So if you're trying to change, so if I want to go sing, I want to be a singer, I want to, I want to be a figure skater, but my dad wants me to play hockey. You're going to see the wants are going to be, the parents are going to want something different, but you're going to be fixed in what you want. And that those pressures will make for the happy or unhappy teenager and then going out into life. But at any time, how we deal with our old age, different things, there's ways of refining. Venus is always trying to refine its values. And when it does so, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. The more selfish it gets, the more greedy it gets, the more lustful it gets, the more gross Venus gets. But when you let go of those things and you evolve it to more refinement, more artistic, more value, more beauty, and you are sharing, wow, it's worth holding on to something like that. So these are inclined to be fixed, probably more loyal people than not. 